The only three chest exercises you need. Dips for muscle tension. Push-ups for pumped pecs. Flies for bodybuilding gains. Learn how to combine calisthenics and weights for chest gains. But first, which is your favorite chest exercise? Don't be shy, drop a comment. If you're not taking dips seriously, we need to talk. Muscles targeted include the pecs, shoulders, and triceps. Dips are to the upper body what squats are for the legs. The simplicity of dips is what makes them shine. Using around 90 degrees range of motion is the best method for weighted dips. Our rear delts should be lower than elbows at the bottom. A protracted and depressed scapula works wonders when going heavy. When dipping, keep your shoulders packed down and the abs engaged. Having your torso angled forward is recommended for emphasizing the chest. Looking down and remaining hollow further loads the pecs with dips. Don't forget to lock out the top for full range. Control means everything for dips. Squeeze the plate between your legs. This tip is pure gold. I wish everyone did this from day one. Controlling the weight keeps the center of mass under our base of support. Remain diligent with control and tempo. Bracing will automatically equal correct technique. But why are parallel bars the priority? A stable surface allows you to push higher absolute loads. The result is massive mechanical tension on our upper body. Another advantage is accessibility. Bars can be found in all good gyms and calisthenics parks. Weighted dips have played a key role in my physique. The better that I've gotten at weighted dips, the better that my chest looks. Besides, dipping with weight makes you feel like a badass. Plates dangling brings out a primal aggression every single time. Dips come in all shapes and sizes. There's an option to suit all body types and training goals. By rotating variations, the dip will continue growing your pecs for years to come. Real quick, like the video to support fitness FAQs so we can make those juicy algorithm gains. Push-ups deserve more respect. Some people scoff at this exercise. Too easy, they say. I disagree. Weighted push-ups are the truth. The secret is using a dip belt. The added resistance invigorates intensity. It's nice to feel challenged by push-ups like our beginner days. Progressing weight offers unlimited chest gains. Don't forget to squeeze your abs and glutes, keeping stiff like a plank. Belt loading is a luxury. Our scapula is free to move through full range. The weight remains secure thanks to the belt. No balancing or partner required. Elevation is essential for going deep without impediment. I've been using weighted push-ups with pleasure for many years. If bodyweight bodybuilding is your goal, push-ups are a worthy bench press substitute. For chest growth, push-ups are one of the best stimulus to fatigue exercises. Push-ups are best included as a secondary pressing exercise for moderate rep ranges with moderate weight. The eight to 15 rep range works best. This level of intensity is great for hypertrophy and keeps technique in check. Ring push-ups plus weights are an excellent combo. Thanks to the instability, we can be challenged without needing a ton of weight. Take advantage of the endless possibilities of exercise variation and keep things fun. Closed chain horizontal pressing can now be progressed indefinitely with weights. Yay, chest flies are ideal for isolation. These can be done with weights or body weight. Proper form is critical for feeling the pecs and avoiding shoulder pain. Keep a natural lumbar arch and retract your scapula. Flying with the elbows below shoulders is optimal. Isolation is not the time for ego lifting. You have to feel the chest working. The mind-muscle connection will elevate your muscle growth. Do this practically with mindful tempo and technique. Slow down the negative and use your deepest, safe stretch. Complete the rep by squeezing together at the top, contracting pecs with extra effort. I believe intent is underused for isolation. The person training with purpose will surpass someone simply going through the motions. If you want a bigger upper chest, train incline to target clavicular pecs. I enjoy chest flies because they build strength at length. 
Expect to gain resilient connective tissues and joints. Like you guys, most of my day is spent behind a computer hunched in kyphosis. Not only do flies grow a bigger chest, they strengthen synergous muscles on the back for better posture. Chest flies are best used as a finisher at the end of a push workout. Doing both compounds and isolation is the recipe for a massive chest. Simple. That's it for today, legends. Watch another video or shop Fitness FAQ's workouts. There are no other options. See you soon.